Good morning. All right, we are almost to the exciting part of this build. We got our pan back from Next Level Powder Coating out of Yucca Valley. Always does a great job sandblasting. That's what I had done here. I'm not sure what we're gonna do for color on this pan yet. So as of now, it's still sandblasted. Um, small drive unit should hopefully, fingers crossed, be in this week. And then we can start mocking up the rear, but as of today, we're gonna start getting this front suspension figured out. Any tips and tricks from the wise man? Good morning, just trying to get zero bump steer when we're all done. As you can see, we got the beam set up in the vise. We're gonna get our rack mount over here and start playing with it, and make sure we get all our bump, st uh, bump steer out, like he said. So once we get that figured out, I'll explain a little more, but we're going to start getting that rack mount figured out. mount is tacked in at the degree we want uh, what we're looking at is the back side of the beam right now and what we're gonna end up doing is we've put our beam bushings in along with our arms just with some WD-40 and what we're gonna end up doing is putting rack tie rods spindles and stroke this thing right here on the bench um, make sure we're at where we want to be any other tidbit of info no. So, just wanna... springs. yeah, and that's part of it too. We're leaving the 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 leaves out of it, so a lot less work to stroke it all and make sure you're 100% right with it. So, I'll get back to videoing. of the front beam adventure Manfredo all right so after toying around for a couple more hours we found the degree we want on the beam got our beam mount or rack mount welded in and uh, also to get your rack mount to clear 
got to end up notching more of this guy out right here the front um, bulkhead so I'm working on that right now gonna get that notched out cleaned up welded up and then uh, should be ready to bolt this guy back in there and then I'll stroke it out for you guys and show you what we ended up with yeah that too what Now we gotta fit this guy in there. So after our beam adventure, um, we'll probably start dicking around with that thing and seeing how it fits back there. So let me get going on this front bulkhead and uh, then I'll show you guys a couple more things. You working hard? Uh, so you working hard? Always, always. <laughs> Just giving you wall support. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we need. All right, back to work. Couple hours of blood, sweat, and tears, and finally got the front beam complete, stroked, ready to rock and roll. Rigs look good. A couple angry lessons from that guy getting yelled at as usual. But uh, yeah, so finished notching this guy out right here. Uh, box it in, welded it in, grinded it down, got that all set, cleared the tie rods up here. Um, and for stroking, what we did is we took the center grub out, but put in our two in grub screws and our leaf pack. And that'll allow us to cycle this thing up and down, but hold the top arms together at the same time. Um, so what we're able to get from our down travel to full up travel, which will be somewhere about right there. It's about eight and a half to eight and three quarters of front wheel travel and a 16th of an inch of bump steer. Um, we've spent hours upon hours messing around with the bump steer and that's, that's as good as you're gonna get it. So we're happy with that and that kind of finalizes our front end adventure here. So now that we got the front end done, we should be able to move on to the rear end and start with the small uh, the drive unit and get the arms set and all that other good stuff so uh stay tuned and the next episode we'll be able to post all that stuff <laughs>